Our Estate Services section deals with all services to communal areas on your estate. You will see their officers around the borough in the distinctive green council vehicles. They all wear uniforms and carry identification. Estate Services are responsible for the Wandsworth Emergency Control, which is staffed 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Staff in the control room can access CCTV cameras around the borough and have a key role when there is an emergency situation involving the council. If you have a housing emergency, you can call Wandsworth Emergency Control and they will let you know what help is available. The control room is in radio contact with the estate services officers and can arrange for them or a contractor to come to your home to help you. Estate services officers will generally be found out and about on estates, attending call-outs and inspecting communal areas looking for things which need repairing. If you notice something in the communal areas that needs to be repaired, or you're not happy with the repairs carried out by our contractors, then please report it to us. Sometimes, one of our officers will visit you to get more information about the repair or issue. To report communal repairs, contact Estate Services. If you have an urgent repair out of hours, you can report it to Wandsworth Emergency Control. The cleaning of our blocks and estates is carried out by contractors. They work to a schedule which sets out how often cleaning tasks are done and to what standard. State Services officers regularly check the cleaning of the communal areas. If you have any issues with the cleaning or are not happy with the work that our contractors do, please let us know. To report cleaning issues, contact Estate Services. If you live in a block, there will be a bin store with large collection bins in which you can put any rubbish that cannot be recycled. Please make sure that your rubbish bags are tied up securely and only contain normal household waste. You shouldn't put garden or DIY waste, liquids, electrical appliances or hazardous materials into your rubbish bags. Some blocks have refuse chutes on each landing, leading to the bin chamber. Please don't use bags that are too big, as they can block the chute. If you don't have a rubbish chute, you need to take your rubbish bag and place it directly into the bin. In some smaller blocks, you may have a bin store with individual dustbins for each property. Please dispose of your rubbish sensibly. Don't leave it outside the bin store or in communal areas. It's important not to block access to the bin store with your car, as this might stop refuse collectors from emptying the bins. If you live in a house, your rubbish will be collected directly from your property. On collection day, you need to leave your non-recyclable rubbish in strong refuse sacks at the front of your house or in the dustbin by 6 o'clock in the morning. If you have large items which you need to get rid of, you can take these free of charge to the refuse and recycling centres. Or for a fee, the Waste Management Service will come and collect the items. For issues and inquiries about refuse collection or to book a bulky waste collection, contact the Waste Management Service. For any issues about bin stores or refuse chutes, contact our estate services section. We encourage everyone to recycle as much of their waste as possible. We have placed wheeled recycling banks on most of our estates. You can also find recycling banks at other locations such as car parks, schools and supermarkets throughout the borough. We empty all these banks regularly. If you live in a home where your rubbish is collected directly from your property, then you can use our Orange Sack Recycling Service. You can put all your recycling into the orange sacks and then put them out with your non-recyclable rubbish by 6am on your collection day. We will deliver orange sacks to you once every three months. But if you need more, you can collect them from a local library or the waste management service at the town hall. Items that you can recycle from home are glass bottles and jars, paper and card, plastic bottles, drinks cans, food tins, aerosols and food and drink cartons. Please rinse these out if you can. It's important that you don't place other items in the banks or sacks, as this can result in the contents not being able to be recycled. 
Clothes, shoes, printer cartridges and books can be recycled at some of the larger public recycling bank sites. For issues or inquiries about recycling, contact the Waste Management Service. Estate services look after the grounds maintenance on your estate. We have a range of gardens and green spaces which make your estate a more pleasant and attractive place to live. Our staff monitor the work of the gardening contractors and if you want to discuss the grounds maintenance on your estate, contact our horticultural section. Our free graffiti removal service operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We will remove all graffiti and tagging with the permission of the property owner. We have a zero tolerance approach towards graffiti and will prosecute those responsible wherever possible. If you notice graffiti within the borough, please report it to us by phoning our 24 hour hotline or by email. You can also text us. Please start your message with the word graffiti and tell us where the graffiti is located. Or you can complete a report online on our website. The Council aims to provide safe, physically challenging, educational and stimulating play for children of all ages and abilities. We have playgrounds on most estates and these are open for all children to play in. There are different types of play spaces, from ball game areas to playgrounds with equipment for various ages from under 6s through to under 14s. Estate services staff make health and safety checks on the playgrounds and will report broken equipment such as swings and make sure they get fixed. To report repairs or issues with locking or unlocking the playgrounds, please contact Estate Services. Many of our housing estates are covered by parking regulation schemes. These are introduced at the request of the residents and aim to ensure parking is available for residents of that block or estate and their visitors. On these estates, there are clear signs telling drivers that parking regulations are in force in that area. In order to park there, your vehicle must display a valid visitor or resident parking permit and a current road tax disc. If these are not on display in the windscreen, then the vehicle will be clamped or towed away. This also applies to the vehicles of anyone visiting you. So you need to give your visitor's permit to any of your guests to use while they are parked on the estate. It's very easy to apply for a parking permit. You need to fill in an application form and provide ID showing your name and address, such as your driving licence or your tenancy agreement. For a residence permit, you will also need to provide your vehicle registration document, and this needs to show your current address. To obtain an application form or make an inquiry about parking on your estate, contact your estate manager. We have some garages and store sheds which we rent out to residents. If you want to rent a garage or a store shed, contact our non-residential team. You will be asked to complete an application form and if there are no garages or store sheds available immediately, we will put your name on a waiting list. Before being handed the keys, you'll need to sign a legal tenancy agreement for the rental of the garage or store shed. If your garage or store shed needs any repairs, contact the non-residential team. From time to time, we carry out major works to your block or estate to keep it in a good state of repair. This includes decorations to the outside of your block and renewing roofs, windows and lifts. If you want more information on major works where you live, contact your estate manager.